Despite scores of Palestinians making their way from northern Gaza to the southern part of the Strip in the hope of surviving the war, several tens of thousands continue to stay put in the northern part of the territory despite Israel's warning of evacuation in the wake of its ongoing local ground assaults and relentless airstrikes perpetually targeted at Hamas hideouts. At least 49 Palestinians were killed in an overnight Israeli strike that hit homes in Khan Yunus and Rafah, Gaza's Interior Ministry said on Tuesday. It comes as Israel prepares to escalate an offensive in the enclave of 2.3 million people that has set off a humanitarian crisis in Gaza and raised fears of a border conflict with Iran. Gaza authorities say more than 2,800 people have been killed in Israeli attacks since October 7, around a quarter of them children, and more than 10,000 wounded are in hospitals desperately short of supplies. Hamas fighters killed 1,300 Israelis during a surprise blitz through southern Israeli towns on October 7, the deadliest single day in Israel's 75-year history. Israel has responded by tightening its blockade on Gaza, including by restricting the entry of food, water and fuel, and bombarding the area with airstrikes that have killed thousands of Palestinians and displaced hundreds of thousands more. US Secretary of State Antony Blinken concluded hours of talks with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu in Tel Aviv early on Tuesday by saying that Biden would visit Israel. The president will hear from Israel what it needs to defend its people as we continue to work with Congress to meet those needs, Blinken told reporters. Meanwhile, the IDF released a video showcasing the bombing of Hamas military headquarters and a bank used to finance terrorist activities in Gaza, underlining their commitment to dismantling Hamas infrastructure. Daniel Hagari, the IDF spokesperson, revealed that Hamas had pilfered fuel and medical supplies intended for UN operations in Gaza. The stolen resources could have sustained Gaza's water desalination for six days, shedding light on Hamas' abuse of aid meant for civilians. The IDF accused Hamas of employing civilians as human shields during the ongoing conflict, asserting that the group's actions were an affront to humanity affecting both Israelis and Palestinians. They affirmed their dedication to eradicating Hamas for the well-being of region and beyond. In response to an attack on Israel, the Israel Air Force conducted airstrikes on Hezbollah targets in Lebanon, raising concerns about potential escalation involving Hezbollah and Israel. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.